Dear friends, my life is not one dimensional, so I have thoughts that extend into other areas besides health and religion. I have broached politics and human rights before. Once, a kind and patient Russian helped me gain a more accurate perspective on the conflict in Ukraine. I would again like to speak to politics in the United States. I know that many of you do not hail from my country, so if you feel like broadening my perspective, you can give me your thoughts on the politics in your country. I would like to say that I have family both on the far right and far left, and a few more centrist. My husband and I, gasp, might vote for different candidates. For those of you who are US citizens, I welcome you to state who you plan to vote for president in November and why. I look forward to reading your responses, as I always do. First, I would like to say that a Gallup poll from last year, released in January of this year, indicated that registered Republicans and Democrats tie at 27%, while registered independents comprise the bulk of voters at 43%. Personally, I feel strongly about protecting vulnerable lives, whether that be the terminally ill, wiggers, or unborn innocents. I care deeply about honesty. I care about the yearly poisoning of our precious cropland. I care about the world's declining insect, whale, and ocean fish populations. I care about recovery programs for our incarcerated population. I care about healthy food, something our country is not known for. I care about corporate capture. I care about us enforcing our laws until they are changed. I care about having the ability to protect our family from violence. I care about the sex we have encoded in every cell of our bodies, except the few rogue male cells I have wandering around from giving birth to two boys. I care about sex not being trivialized. I care about female-only spaces and female-only sport. I care about respectful discourse. I care about not sexualizing kids. I care about respect being given to all people. I'm sure that there are more political items I care about, but those are a few. This November, there will be three names on the ballot for United States President. You may disagree, but I believe all three are positioned well to win, given the ratio of registered voters, grassroots support, online long format interviews, debates, rallies, and support of the media and social media. None of the candidates perfectly represent my concerns, but I will pick one and hope and pray for the best. So there's that. I'm sure you are interested in how I am doing. My pain meds are becoming less effective and I have more breakthrough pain. My eyes are more difficult to open sufficiently to use my eye tracking computer at night, and I am praying I get selected from among the many neural link applicants before I lose eyelid control. Not much else that has changed. I appreciate the concern you all show for my welfare. I'm moved by the little words of love you send my way from near and far. There are wars, coups, offenses, and suffering in our world, but there is also kindness, compassion, mutual respect, and love. I see that in you. It is beautiful. At home, I am excitedly waiting for my boys to return from the camp I worked at five summers. Thanks, Dad and Mom, for sending them to camp. They will have been gone for two weeks when I see them again. I hope that they are having a good experience. Here, back at home, it is nice getting some alone time with my daughter. You know what? Toby and I have been married 15 years, and we are still learning how to be good friends and spouses. As humans, it's a journey getting to understand ourselves, let alone the foreign world of someone else. Learning how to love well, disagree well, share our needs, and bend to serve or compromise. To become a team, to trust, hope, and forgive. To get up every day and choose to move forward with them. Works in progress, right? That's all for now, folks. God be with you, and strengthen you for your journey.